All righty, babies, it's time. <sighs> Okie doke. All right, babies, thank you for coming. Good afternoon on our, uh, not rain delay, but uh, preventative maintenance, uh, what is it called? Mental health postponement or whatever. Anyway, thanks for coming for a late afternoon visit to my friend's wonderful location for a little vinyasa with God only knows. Um, for you folks online who are joining us, thank you for coming. People and, and new friends that are here today for the first time, thank you for coming. And old friends, uh, thanks for having us. This is the Bohemian Song Society. They're going to do a little something that I can't do. They're going to make your brains feel happy when, uh, when I put you in a spot of bother, so to speak. <laughs> so I may uh, physically invite you to a uh, thousand parties, but that doesn't mean you have to go to all of them. So for do you guys do, have you done yoga before? And You have not. I already know. Me and you were going at it. What about you two? I can hang, baby. <laughs> what, a little bit? You two over here? All right. Anybody got acute injuries I need to know about? Anything super funky? Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> we're still at a social distance anyway, so I won't be putting my hands on you. That's typically my next disclaimer. But um, all you have to do is serve yourself. Do what serves you. And if you do what doesn't serve you, it's going to suck. And if you do things that are driven completely by ego, you're going to be in pain. And then if you're in pain, you're stepping two steps backwards instead of one forward. And if you... If, in fact, you be make this so completely physical that it's just something that you're going to be sore as hell from, that's cool, but there's more to it. So get there and then uh, and go as far as you can go comfortably and then go a little bit further even because uncomfortable is wonderful. Uncomfortable is outstanding, but never in pain. If you feel something that goes ow or sharp or pointy or anything like that feeling, something that's hot or you just simulate with the color red or something, back out. There's no ego attached to it, and you can't be good at yoga, you can't be bad at yoga. You can't be too stiff to do yoga, you can't be too whatever. So just have a good time. So turn inward, relax, let's do our thing, welcome aboard, and if I, uh, at any given point, shrivel up into a raisin, like a fat little raisin, it's because, <laughs> it's because this sun has got a good old grip on me right now. Alrighty, baby, breathe in through your nose, my name is Pickles, yours is not. Breathe, 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 breathe. Here we go. In yoga, my new friends, we breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the nose. But if I get you into a little bit of a wiggle or a squiggle, and you keep your lips pursed tightly because I told you to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, don't. Open your mouth if you have to. This is not written in stone. So go have a good time. Let's have fun. And we'll break free of some of the fashion of the day. You guys have been in a car for a while, so we'll get you loosey-goosey. All right. Sit up nice and tall. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale, slow. Breathe in through the nose and activate the base of the spine. Erect, send the crown of the head high. Fill your ribs. Retain the breath for just a cosmic conscious moment and exhale super slow. Breathe in, you can feel it as it elevates you, it lifts you, it spreads, it creates space between each vertebral facet as you get taller. And as you exhale, get the shoulders away from the ears and the edges of the body become soft and starts to peel away at some of the klesha, so away from the shushimsa nadi. Breathe in. And allow your exhalation to be one and a half times at least as long as your inhalation and then bring a tiny bit of awareness to the bottom of the breath. <clears throat> stilling the consciousness. Yoga is nothing, babies. There's nothing more than stilling the mind. Getting a grip on your consciousness and facilitating and using the tools that you have spiritually to deal with the day. That's what yoga is. It's not hamstrings, lumbar. It's not just flexibility. It's not just strength. It's a union of both to create stability of mind, body, spirit, and soul. Brush the back of the throat gently with your breath and start to make some ocean sounds. So hit your tonsils, that speed bag with the back. Grab yourself some of my friends, salt the air here in this absolutely beautiful place. And then allow those exhalations, inhalations to carry a sound that sounds a lot like the ocean. This is called Ujjayi Pranayama. It's going to stoke the furnace from within, and it's going to keep you here. Now, <clears throat> if in fact you are not here, you're elsewhere. I need you to be here. Right here, right now, on your mat. 
and be present throughout this practice. Just give yourself the presence of being present. And throughout the practice, you're going to lose your breath and you're not going to hear it anymore. And I'm going to remind you, and you're just going to take a quick pause and you're going to uh-huh. And then you're going to go right back to it. I'm going to get you and pull you back onto your mat. And stay here. So you can serve yourself only to serve others. Let the sun hit the back of your neck. Let the ripples on your conscious lake become smooth. Allow the blood pressure to drop, your heart rate to slow. Allow all the vibrations between your ears to settle. Revel in your stillness for a few breaths. And we'll finish where we started. But for now, we're going to take you out for a walk. Inhale the shoulders to the ears. Roll them up, back and down. Let your hands find the floor. Engage the perineal muscles of the pelvic floor and lift. Pull the knee blade close to the spine as you sit up nice and tall. Good. Keep the arms behind the ears. Turn the palms over and reach out. Then up. Slowly take your gaze up to the hands. The thumbs touch, the palms touch. Push, contract the deltoids, and then slowly bring only the chin to the chest as you reach towards the back of the arm. Exhale, push away side walls. Flex your wrist, chin to chest. Scoop out your belly. Good. Keep the palms facing down. Flex the wrist. Stretch across the bottom of the forearm. Inhale up. Bring the backs of the hands together. Push. Thumbs. Palms together. Interlace fingers. Push them high. Chin to chest. Reach back. Good. Bend the elbows. Hammock the head. Start to lift the back of the ribs. Now send the elbows towards the back of the lawn. Squeeze the scapula and the shoulder blades together. Lift the back ribs and lift the front ribs. And slowly, slowly sink your gaze up. Wrap the biceps around the ears, round the upper back, and just slowly hinge forward and fold. No tension in the cervical spine, just length. Release the hands, the fingers face down. Bring them back till they fall right in front of your knees. Pick your bum up. Slowly bring your bum back down, keeping the saddle of the hands down, stretch it across the bottoms of the forearms, fingers face back. Good, lean back enough so you can peel the hands up and they touch the top of the knees, sit tall. Lift the shoulders, roll them up, back and down, sweep the arms above. Drop the left hand behind you and walk it up the spine. Reach high with the right and then slowly clear your chin. Bend that elbow till the hands come together. Gamma Kasana. Lift the heart, look up. Send a message to that left shoulder in front of the deltoids. Get a little bit of space between that and the clavicle and where it attaches to the back. Open the heart, look up. Good, untether the hands, reach. But stay rooted, reach, but stay rooted. On the exhalation, twist to the left, bringing the right hand outside the left knee. Lift high, get tall. You gotta get tall first. Spine is vertical, don't lean back. Exhale, start to ring it out. Twist from behind the navel first, the ribs, shoulder. Hold the chin and look. Untether the posture, grab the knees, come on through. Remove any flesh from your sit bones, rock side to side. Good, 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 good. Pull the heart through as you come through center. Stand up. Pull the sternum in front of the biceps. Hinge forward on the front of the pelvis. Hands right there in the SI joint, come forward. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, inhale, send the crown of the head high. And on the exhalation, lean back, chin to chest, open up the space between your upper back. Inhale up. This time with a flat back, hinge forward, follow your heart. Halfway down, take your hip circles to the left. So plant your ass bones into the grass. Good. Strong below your navel and above your pubic bone. And then everything up above just bloom. Big, gigantic, organic circles with nothing to do other than breaks from the fascia and the rust that come with the day. Now relax your head and neck and let it roll around, chin to chest, ear to shoulder. Rock it across the back of the neck, ear to shoulder, chin across the chest. Close your eyes, unhinge your jaw. Get dizzy. Breathe.
up through center, sit up nice and tall, inhale the shoulders to the ear, roll them back, stop, lift the heart through, inhale them up to the ears, roll them forward, squeeze, open up the upper back, you can feel it, inhale them up, roll them back, squeeze, heart is out, inhale them up, roll them forward, round the upper back, inhale through center, hinge the back, let them fall to the floor, inhale up, good, Exhale, drop this hand behind you. I'm sorry, pardon me. Drop your right hand behind you and look up. Slowly clear the chin, bend the elbow, bring the hands together, and then lift the heart. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Kamakasana, send it to the right, deltoid this time. Maybe the hands come together, maybe they don't even come close. Who cares? Sit up nice and tall. Untether the posture and sweep the arms above. Reach, but stay rooted. Reach, reach, reach. More space between each vertebral facet and on the exhalation. Twist to the right. Left hand coming outside the right knee. Get tall first, babies. You got to get taller first. I hate it. Stop. Inhale. Get taller. 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 Exhale. Now bring it out. Looking out over the right shoulder, creating space from each intercostal, between each rib. Reach as far as you can with your eyes and close them. Untether that posture. Come on back. Grab those knees like rudder sticks, man. Remove any flesh from under your bum. Pull the heart through. Embellish the movement. Pull the heart through. Hinge forward. Slowly soften your belly. Look up, up, up. Oh, yeah. Exhale. Send the crown of the head high. Lean back. Chin to chest. Space between the scapula. Inhale up. Hinge forward with a flat back. And then take them hip circles the other way. Good. Ground down through the sits bones. Strong behind your belly. I do this every single class because I just like the movement. I need it. My body needs to stir the pelvic bowl with my spine. I need to just take all this rusty, tight impingement in my hips out and like reverse what the day gave me. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Close them eyes. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah, chin to chest. All righty, come up through center. Here we go, grab those knees and a firm perch. Sit up now. Engage your knee on a bum down. Pull the navel inward and upward. Now, I want you to keep as much as you can as if you had some, like a rod, right into your ears right here. Hold these, super close. A little kundalini, I need you to pull the heart through. Exhale, chin to chest, lean back. Inhale up, pull it through. Now look up. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, pull it through, look up. And exhale, back. All right, now we got to kick it. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So keep those sit bones grounded and move. Kundalini, wake it up, that serpent at the bottom of your spine, poking it through the bars, getting it a little pissy. Pull your heart through, let's move now. Oh, we're going to do this. So Brooke, this is it. We do this for another 90 minutes, but we're gonna do it really fast. Just enjoy it. It's good. That's all we do, man. That's all I think I got. Oh, I'll lean back. Come on, move. Now move a little. Everybody's sleeping. We gotta build our immunity. We've quadrupled our population since we got here. <laughs> Get big now. There you go. Come on now. Send a rush of oxygenated blood. Ah, oh, we went from beachy to metropolitan. Come on, pull your heart through. Move. Kundalini. Faster. Move. Eight more. Faster. Good. Slow down. Come through center. Inhale the shoulders. Hold them up. Roll them back. Nice. Engage your mother button. Lift the navel. Look to the front of your mat. Come on up and over. All right, if your knees allow, come on up. So bring the, leave the knees out wide. I need you to hook your toes. Brooke, you're going to love this one. We call this in Sanskrit detaching from all things good and fun. This is a detachment from pleasure. So hook them toes together. Align your wrist, elbow, and shoulder. Get your knees out wide, and we'll bust some of the rest. Pull your heart through. Look up. Soften the skin on your face. Now smile at your sister, Wayne. You know that. <laughs> All right. Now we'll wash that little smile away. Now let those feet go. Here we go. 
Oh, now I need you to bring your knees to me. I need you to bring them Eastern Shore knees to me, tall woman. 90 degrees in your hip, 90 degrees in your knee, 90 degrees in your ankle. Turn your cosmic garden down, lift your heart. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Get low now. Take your traction out of your ass. Good. Soften the low belly. Place the hands under low. Roll the shoulders back and down. Lift just your heart. Oh, pull into your froggy asana. Uh-huh. Toes together, knees together. Let's lift. Come through table. Let's wiggle, squiggle. Drop them toes. Drop your belly. Align the wrist, elbow, and shoulder in your table pose. Good. Knees or hip distance apart and parallel. Tuck the toes. Pull your heart through. Look up. Exhale, round the back, cat flexion to the spine. Tuck the toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look out. And exhale, round the back, cat. Tuck toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through. And exhale, round the back. Come through a neutral spine, take the right hand, look at it. Open it and look to the right. Exhale, thread the needle, come on down to your right cheek or ear. Leave your left hand in front of your face, anchor with your knees, come all the way down to your right cheek. Now, push with that left hand as you anchor with the knees, twisting the thoracic spine. Now, some of you want to extend your left leg. Yes, you do. Now, most of you want to bend your right knee. Yeah, that's right. I said my right knee. Look up here, bro. Left leg back. Bend the right knee. The other left. Right knee down, left leg back. <laughs> bend the left knee, bring the soles together. And inhale the left arm up. Oh, yeah. Bend the elbow, bind the posture, find your pickle pose. Extend the left leg slowly. Release the left hand. Left knee comes down, you push it open to the right. Right hand comes under the shoulder, tuck toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, round the back, cat. All right. Exhale, thread the needle, come on down to your left cheek. Keep the hand in front of the face, anchor with the knees. Push down. Twist to the thoracic spine. And when that feels good, you just go ahead and inhale that right leg. Now bend the left knee, bend the right knee, and inhale the right arm. Bring the soles together. Bend the right elbow. Place your right hand on your left ass cheek. Palm face it away. Hold. That's pickle pose. That's mine. <laughs> Extend just the right leg. Bring the right hand down. Release the right knee and open left. Release it down low. Tuck toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, round the back, kitty. Oh, neutral spine, inhale the right leg. Roll out the ankle. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it back, bend the right knee, push down the right hand, inhale the right, the left arm. Bend the knee, point the toe, turn the palm towards you. Bend the elbow, drop your stomach and lift the heart. Exhale, round the back elbow to knee. Inhale, reach, this time long. Palm faces down, flex the foot, rotate to the right. Exhale, bring the elbow back, the knee up, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Extend the right leg. Keep the left hand up. Give it a pump. Oh, that's nice. Pump it some more. Drop the left hand down, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it back. Round the back, knee to chest. Put the hand, or the foot between the hands, low lunge. Good. Find your low lunge. Toss the toes on the left. Look high. Right on, silly goose. Now, look to the front of your mat. And when you are ready, step the left to meet the right and fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale back. Inhale, rise. Thumbs together, palms together, reach, but stay rooted. Pass the heart center. Pick the toes up on the left foot, place them down. Tuck the tail, shoulders back. Find your drift knee, that's a point of concentration somewhere in front of you. Inhale the right knee. Give it a squeeze. Good, release it, place it across the left knee, sit, figure four. Inhale up, give it a squeeze. Exhale, let it sweep to the left side of your back. Grab your right wrist, lean left. Inhale, bring it up. Give it a squeeze. Open it, sit, figure four. Nice. Inhale up. Give it a squeeze. Gently bend the left, hinge forward. 
A bent legged veer of a dross in a three. Send the arms out. Bend the left knee deeply, send the right foot back. Knee down. Inhale, under the asana with toes top. Breathe. Good. Exhale, extend the left leg, reach forward, cat flush it. Or the Hanuman. But lift the upper back real fast. Inhale up. Lift the heart high. Exhale round. Good. Release the hands. Sweep them back. Inhale up. Find your high lunge. All right, babies, here we go. Now, bend the right knee deeply. Extend the left leg. Drop the right hand to the pit of the right knee and reach back. Oh, dang, that's nice. Windmill the arm so the right hand comes inside the left foot. Open left. Good. Here it is. Now we're going to roll into Anahata to the Anahata to the stretch. Come to the knife edge of both feet. Bring the right hip down. Lean back. Inhale, reach. Engage in the quad. Exhale, roll down. Reach back. Arm runs parallel. You'll feel it in that left glute and the hips and the eyes. Bring it through center. One more time. Nice. Inhale, come forward. Frame the foot. Not now. This is what I want you to do. Inhale the right leg up. Good. Now we're going to switch legs. Plant the hands. And we're going to hop, bringing the left foot up and the right foot down. Whoa, whoa, sorry. <laughs> Good. Nice. Exhale, bring the left shin down. Look up. Inhale, set the left leg high. Exhale, primal squat. Look up. Inhale, standing split. One more time. Look up. Exhale, up. Inhale up, bring the knee with you. And we'll be ready. Squeeze. Nice. Good. Exhale, open it. Other side, take it forth. Inhale up, squeeze. Exhale, let it go. Sweep it over. Left wrist, lean right. Exhale back, squeeze. Open, figure four. Nice. Inhale up. Hinge forward. Bent knee, fear of a dross in a three. Bend the right knee, send the left foot back. Take the knee, don't tuck the toes. Or keep the toes tucked. Anjali Asana. Exhale, round the back as you extend the right leg. Lifting in the cat's flexion. Oh, the Hanumanasana. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lead, reach, lead. Inhale up. Good. Oh, come on. Now release the hand. Sweep, find your high line. All righty, tuck the left knee down. Extend the right leg. Drop the left hand back to the pit. Lift your heart high. Windmill the arms. Woo! Left hand comes inside the right foot. Open right. Now, now come to the knife edge of the feet. Drop the hip down on the hot toss. Inhale, reach. Oh, inhale, come on. Good, come on, reach. One more time, we settle into the hip feet. Up and over. Frame the foot. Nice, lift the left leg. Now switch, scissor. Whoop. Good. Round the back, shin down, primal squat, look high. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, come on down. Look up. Hands down, kick it up high. Nice, this time release the right to meet the left. Full. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bow. Inhale again halfway. Keep the heels together. Squat. Knees out wide. Hands in Anjali Mudra. Tuck the tail down. Find your twisty. Plant the hands low. Lift the bump. Knees on the back of your arms and squeeze the adductors. Lift Bakasana. Go, babies. Fly, silly gooses. Well done. I can't see us. So if you're cheating, I'll never know. Good. Fly, Wayne. Look up. Yes, sir. Come on down. Very good. Good. Meeting table. 
Let's do the other side. Tuck your toes, drop your belly, look high. Exhale, round the back, cat. Tuck toes, march asana, vitalasana. Exhale, round the back, cat. One more time, we tuck and pull it through. Exhale, round the back. Bring the right knee in towards center and inhale the left leg. Roll out the ankle. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it back and bend the left knee. Push down the left hand, inhale the right. Turn the palm towards you. Now drop your belly and lift the toes, the fingers on the side. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale, reach, turn the palm down, flex the left foot. Rotate to the left. Exhale, knee up, elbow in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Keep the hand under the shoulder, extend the left leg. Give it a pump. Nice work, kid. Drop the hand down, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale, it behind. Exhale, round the back, place the foot between the hands. The lunge. All right, pull this through. Now we're gonna move. Coming through, center. we're just gonna take on the asana a little bit further. Before, it was just an opening of the psoas and the hip flexor. Now we're gonna engage it into a back bend. Walk the toes closer. To your front of your mat. Now we'll align the knee with the ankle. Bring the right hip flexor forward. Inhale the arms behind the ears. Lift. 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 Oh, yeah. Nice. Good. Frame the foot. Extend the leg and fall. Inhale up, bend the knee. Tuck the toes. Find your high lunge. And when you're ready, step your right to meet your left and fold. Inhale, halfway arm to Uttanasana. Exhale, back. Inhale, rise. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Hands to the heart center. Place your thumbs into your chest, bow your head, set and attention for your practice. Breathe peace within and around yourself. Gaze in the room and inhale the arms. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, back. Inhale, rise. Thumbs together, palms together this time. Tuck your tailbone down. Lift your heart. Pass the heart center, Samastiti. All righty, here we go. Inhale. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, Adamukha, Svanasana, breathe. Good, pedal it out. So relax your head, neck, shoulders. Lift your heels, bring them down one at a time. Spread your fingers wide. Good. Sternly rotate your shoulders and feel the skin behind your knees. So shorten your stance just a little bit. So shorten your stance very closer. Lift your hips high and then relax the head and neck. All right, good. A few more circles of breath. And breathe peace. Spread your fingers wider. Good. All right. Here we go, kiddos. Nice. Lift the heels slightly. Bend the knees deeply. Bring your butt back. Look between your thumbs. Hop, step, and count. Inhale, half wide. Exhale, back. Inhale, rise. Palms together, palms together. Bring the hands to the heart center. Bow your head. Lift the toes on the left foot. Inhale, the right knee. Slowly bring the heel into the sit bone and point the knee towards the ground. Reach back with the right hand. Hands forward as you keep the hips and shoulders square. Not a wrong job. Good, dance. Pull your heart through. Keep your hips and shoulders square. Lift your heart. Push the hand away. Good. Come on through. Release the foot. Come back to your center. Bring the knee into the chest. Give it a squeeze. Extend the leg. Release. Inhale the arms. Exhale back. Inhale halfway. Grab the big toes with your right index or your peace fingers. 
Piano bend to the left knee. And inhale the right leg. Slowly open to the right. Uttita Hasta Padangustasana. Bring it to the center. Hinge and fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale back. Inhale rise. Or the Hastasana. Hands to heart center. Good. Lift all ten toes, place them down, and lift the arch of the foot. Micro bends in the knees and tuck your tail under. Shoulders back, heart high, belly's in. Good. Inhale the left leg. Now bring the heel into the sit bone. Point that knee towards the ground. Reach back with the left hand, keeping the hips and shoulders square. Mata Rajasa. Slowly inhale back through center. Bring it through center, extend and hold. Release the left foot to beat the right and inhale the arms. Ah, Uttanasana. Inhale halfway, grab the big toes of your left foot, kettle bend to the right knee, and when you're ready, Uttita Hasta Padangustasana. And when you're ready, again, open to the left. Come on back when you want to. And hit your pull. Good. Inhale halfway. Exhale back. Good. Inhale halfway. Place your right hand to a block into the right hand corner of your mat. And slowly inhale the left leg behind you and open to the left. Yes. Arda Chandrasana. Bend the right knee deeply and send the left foot back. Vira Vadrasana too. Yes. Now slow down. The toes on the right foot are coming towards me. Good. The heel draws a line to the arch of the left foot. Inhale the arms parallel to the ground. Look out over your right middle finger, but the crown of the head is up. Look at your right foot. Make sure the knee is in line with the ankle. Look and make sure you can see a toe. Good. Turn the right palm over. Inhale. Peaceful dance and warrior. Exhale. Extended side angle. Parsifal Kanasana. Inhale up, peace for a dancing warrior. And then straighten the right leg. Reach back with the right hand. Nice. Leaving the leg straight, bring the arms parallel. Rotate the toes on the right foot, all ten toes now face northeast. Inhale, hop. Exhale, hinge and fold. Let the hands fall in line, Prasarita Padastrasana. Let the upper body hang heavy. Relax the head and neck. Lead with your heart, not your head. Relax. Inhale halfway. Let the hands come under the shoulders. Support the upper body. Flat back now. Lift the muscles of the pelvic floor and bring your hands to your hips. And inhale up. So, rotate the toes on the left foot. Take a generous bend. Look to the corner of your back, corner of your mat, and when you're ready, energize, find your Arda Chandrasana. So bring it up. Good. Nice. Bend the left knee deeply, send the right foot back, finding Virabhadrasana too. Warrior dose. Nice. Look at your left foot, make sure you can find a toe. Turn the left palm over. Inhale, peace for a dance and warrior. Exhale, extended side ankle. Pars for Konasana. Look to the right palm. Create a long line from the right middle finger through the heel of the right foot. Inhale, the arms up. And extend the leg. Good. Drop the right. Reach back. Reach, reach, reach. Swing the arms parallel. Rotate the toes on the left foot. Nice. Look up. Drop the hands behind you. Rotate the shoulders back and down. Interlace the fingers. Hand forward. Prasarita Padastanasana seat. And breathe peace. Good. Turn inward. Relax the face. Unhinge the low jaw. I know the shoulders feel like they're welded closed. 
but you don't give a shit about them. I know your hamstrings are trembling. I couldn't care about that either. Ground down to the inner edges of the foot. Now transfer the weight to the outer edges of the foot. Good. Motion and gesture with your head, yes and no. Take contraction out of your cervical spine. Upper body driven by gravity alone. Good. Now allow the hands to come to the lumbar spine. Supporting it, exhale. And when you're ready, inhale all the way up. Good. Nice. Okay, with the toes on the right foot so they face the front of your mat. And when you're ready, step your left foot to beat the right. Samastiti. Sweep the arms above. Exhale back. Uttanasana. Inhale halfway. Exhale to the heart center. Samastiti. Bow your head. All right. Sweep them up so the goose. Exhale back. Flat back. Uttanasana. Inhale halfway. Flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pedal, Aramukha Svanasana. Good. Nice, nice, nice. All right, inhale, left leg. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale, it up. Good. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest, come through plank. Inhale it up. Exhale, round the back, bring it behind the left knee, hold now. Peel that heel into your abdomen, slide it down. Bring the left toes behind the right wrist. Look over your right shoulder as you send the right leg back in earnest and parallel. Lean way out to the left. All right, so for you guys that are familiar with this from the Eastern Shore, I need you to pick up the left foot and square the shin. Now, my brother lived in Mount Vernon, across from Princess Anne, and I forget what they call it here, but I know here they called it really hungover, looking for the remote under the couch post. See this here? Now stay low and slow. Roll over forward and find your Kapatasana pigeon pose. And take some space into that ass. You need to stretch the striations of the muscles of the glutes. Three of them back here, and they're driving. They're always driving. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, how do you have room for the sciatic corridors? How do you let neurocurrent run through your body with this impingement? No, uh Oh yeah, Kapatasana. Resting pigeon, what a delightful posture. Breathe. Look at you all in the, in the shade. I'm smelling bacon up here, I'm sweating so much. I'm dripping. <laughs> it's on a time. Good. A few more circles of breath. Then inhale up so you can bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Good. Now I want you to lean to the left and bring the heel in towards the center line a little bit. Sweep the right leg around so you can grab it. And what you do, grab it behind the foot, ankle, shin, whatever you want. Square the hips. Now you don't want to round, no turtling in the back. We don't want this. We want this. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Now empty your belly and bring it in. Oh yes, come on out halfway. Take the left hand to the outer edge. Pull with the right hand as if you draw it across. And twist behind your navel. Until the posture, right hand comes to the inside edge of the right knee. Now heel toe that left foot. So it's parallel with the short edge of your mat. Flex the left foot. Now take the right knee, or take the right foot and flex it and place it over the left knee. Now your right knee should be exactly over the left ankle. Your right ankle should be right over the left knee. And then you look at your right shin and it eclipses the bottom. Then you lean all the way to the right to get your right sit bone down. Lean to the right, you're gonna love it. Lean more to the right, you love it. Reach now with your hands to the right. Oh, ho, ho, come on. Come on through center, hinge forward and full fire log. And relax, and this shit's just, it's not easy. <laughs> I don't know if I love my left or my right. <laughs> well, no, it's just this posture's not easy either, you know. It looks like you're sitting on the ground with the kids, but you see it? How old are you? Uh, 20. 20. Uh, so you can imagine what it's going to feel like uh, when you're 50. So keep doing it. These right. sitting postures are hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you said it because we sit. We sit too much. We sit on the toilet. We sit in the car. We sit in the computer. We sit. We sit. We can't take a pee without sitting. My father caught me one time sitting down taking a pee. He walked in the bathroom. He said, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were doing your business. So I'm just taking a leak. I'll be a minute. He's like, you're sitting down taking a leak. He screamed at me for an hour. I'm just an American life boy. Very entitled. 
So you gotta come out here and you gotta break the fascia of the hips. And you gotta detach from pleasure here. And tough. That's it. Relax. Come forward. Inhale up, roll the shoulders back and down, hands on you. Now, heel toe the left foot in front of the hip. Slide the right ankle down the shin. Let your feet fall out, hip distance apart, rotate the shoulders back and down, lift your heart high. Drop your knees to the left, your gaze to the right. Inhale through center. Knees right, gaze left. Come on through center. Knees left, gaze right. Inhale through center. Knees right, gaze left. Through center, heel toe the feet together, engage your core. Let your knees go out. Stay here. Engage your core, butterfly these hips. Good. Now engage your core, slide, 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 slide. Come on up, Michael Phelps. Butterfly over, find your body cannot. And feel how different one side is than the other. So here you go, you gotta externally rotate these femoral caps, right? You gotta get them out the way. Then you can't just round your back, because the objective is not to put your head in your bum or have your head in your feet, that means nothing. From the middle of the thoracic spine up is just ego. So lift, 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 look up. Now hinge forward after your belly, hinge forward and fold, Baddhakanasana, bound angles. And breathe peace into these spaces that don't feel good. Breathe peace and think about stuff you're thankful for. Inhale up, crisscross, applesauce, come on up and over and I'll meet you in the table. All righty. Tuck toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, round the back, cat flex of the spine. Tuck toes, drop your belly, look high. Now send your bum all the way back. Spread the fingers wider, extend the legs. Adimukha, Svenakha. Pedal now. Good. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Come through cat flexion of the spine. Come through plank, inhale it up. Exhale, round the back. Bring the heel closer to the navel now. Inhale it up. Exhale, bring that bent knee behind the right elbow. Hold, slide it down. Good, bring the toes behind the left. Look over your left shoulder, send it back, parallel to the long edge of your mat. Then come on out for the Eastern Shore Asana. This here. And then if you're looking for the remote, you're like, dang, I should back you more. Roll the upper body forward and fold. Kapotasana. Breathe peace. And if it feels different on its side, of course it does. I can fly here to the top. <laughs> and relax your head, neck, shoulders, and face. Drop your head down and just be long and lengthen your exhalation. Good. You create space on the side of corridors on this side. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. Push down with the top of the left foot here. Oh yeah, that's nice. Don't do anything else. Just push with the top of the left foot. Engage the clock. Good. Lean forward, fold. More. Start to walk the hands back onto the shoulder. Nice. Inhale up, but settle into that right glute some more. Walk the hands back so they're in line with your shoulders. Pull the heart through. Now settle into that right butt cheek. Take your hands to your left. Take your hands to your heart. Uh oh. Oh, Michael, you do it. Settle in. Good. Lean to the right. Sweep the left leg around. Go ahead and grab it now. Oh yeah, no turtle into the back now. We lift, we roll the shoulders back and down. Lift your heart, look high. Empty your belly, bring that knee to your face, not the other way around. Breathe. Release it halfway. Take the right hand to the outer knife edge of the foot. Draw the left hand across your face and twist to the left. Twist it behind the navel. Look at the puddle of sweat on I'm done in a bath over here. I'm in the shade, I'm safe. <laughs> she, she is coming. She is coming. <laughs> I know, I thought not Yogi, you should see that. Good. the posture, take the left hand to the inside of the knee. Heel toe the right foot so it becomes parallel to the short edge of your mat. Flex the right foot, flex the left foot. Good, now. Left ankle, right knee. Left knee, right ankle. Look down, you can't even see the bottom shin. And then lean left. Oh, get the left set bone in the mud. You feel it now? Oh, now lean left. Oh, that's nice. Come on through and follow, fire lord. <laughs> Christine goes, I do smell bacon. 
Yeah. Well, you leave me in the sun long enough. You put an apple in my mouth, we'll have a luau. Relax. <laughs> that took a minute, huh? <laughs> that was awesome. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, then you laugh. <laughs> Inhale up, lift the shoulders back and down. Heel toe that right foot in front of the head. Slide the left ankle down. Whoop. Rotate the shoulders down. Lift your heart. Drop knees left. Oh, your gaze right. Inhale up. Drop knees to the right, gaze to the left. Inhale up. Knees left, gaze right. Break some of the fascia along your rib cage and adjust the four in the middle of your body. Inhale up. Exhale right. Look left. Good. Inhale up. Heel toe the feet together. Soles of the feet come together. Now, butterfly. Lean back. Good. Relax here now. We'll just look around for a while. Engage your core. Inhale. Come on up. Hinge forward and fold. Bodhikanasana. Oh, yeah. Inhale halfway. Now, keeping your sits bones grounded, look up. Now bring your chin to your chest, the length and the cervical spine. Now hinge forward. Keep coming forward. Keep going forward. Take your elbows. Coax those knees out. Come forward. Come forward. Exhale. Follow your heart, not your head. Full Bhattakonasana. Lily, look at this Bhattakonasana now. As soon as the sun comes out, my one hip gives away. Like when I'm hot, my left hip opens up. Cold. Ooh, terrible. Inhale up. This is from my new friends. All right, Brooke. I've been waiting all day for this. I heard you were coming. All the way. From the <laughs> Grab them big toes. Now rotate your shoulders back and down. Lift your heart. All right, now pull forward. Rock a little bit. Make this gesture like this. <laughs> Do not laugh. Do not smile. Look at this face. <laughs> now lean back and hover your heels. I need mandatory eye contact. You could you please lift your glasses? It's important. In I need, ready? Don't you dare look anywhere else. Ready? Let it go. There she goes. <laughs> Lift your heart. Lift up. Anna, Anna, Bell, Anna, Kate, Anna. Who? Keep getting them up. Lift your heart high. High, high, high. <laughs> All right, now let that feet go. Now, you got sunburn on the back of your legs. Is that correct? Yes, indeed. We'll keep them up here until it goes away. Now, catch the beach ball. This is how we do it at Miller's. Catch the beach ball. Grab the inside of your thighs, externally rotate. Bring your heels down, lift your heart. Lift your heart, lift your heart. Bring them out. Yeah, you gotta do this. I'm 250 pound, 50 year old, remember? Don't you look at me now, look, look, look. Keep looking at me. Keep looking at me. Keep looking at me. And now we're on this new keto thing where we just eat grubs. Hand forward, upa vista konasana. And this is how we watch TV from now on. Oh my God, this way. That looks like a Yiddish gesture, Michael McCohen. I love that. I missed the Yiddish one. Malik is not here. She's the only other Jew that I can relate to. Good. Relax. Come forward. Now, you found your edge. This is not your deal for a bike rider, is it? Those inner adductors are the thighs, but this is where you got to find this mobility. Because what happens is, your hips and I rode a bike for a long time. Still do. But what happens is, you want to project forward. Everything does this. They never do this. So they're constantly in adduction. They're coming together. So you have to open them up. And this whole part of here, if you let it go free, it's amazing. Oh, yes. This is called Upa Vista Konasana. A few more circles of breath and find your head. Nice. Inhale up. Take the hands to behind the knees and lift. Slide forward on your mat, bend. Scoot your butt. Good. Grab the knees. Pull the heart and look through. Exhale, round the back, pin the chest. Good. Inhale out, pull the heart through, see the cat and cow. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, pull it through, look up. And exhale, round the back. Good. Bring the heels and knees together, squeeze. Your hands here. But then I invite you to take them off. Now extend the legs of us in a boat and run your legs and your arms parallel looking up. Slowly bend the knees, bring the heels in close, squeeze. Round the thoracic spine, make your way to your back. Good. Extend your right leg towards the sky, bring the left heel down. Good. Slide the left heel out, flexing the foot. Reach up, you can grab the piece, the big finger, or the back of the ankle, or grab a strap. Bring your left arm to T. Ground down through the arm, no higher than the shoulder. Relax now and bring that knee closer to you. 
Exhale, let it release. Inhale, hold, send the heel high. Exhale, drop it out to the right. A recline, Utita Hasta Vatang Gustasana. There's that battery pack. It's like a tens machine. I'm sweating enough to give me a real shot. Put this on YouTube, Jenny. My mic is shocking me. <laughs> Inhale up, switch hands. Drop your right hand, bring your right leg over to the left, keeping the upper body flat. Good, come on back through center. Bend that knee, bring it into your chest, give it a squeeze. Place the right heel to the ground. Good. And inhale the left leg. Reach up and grab it with the peace fingers or behind the ankle. Flex the right foot and slide the heel away. Slide it so far away it feels like it's leaving you. Drop the right hand to T. Exhale, empty your belly, bring the knee in closer. Maybe you lift the upper body. Exhale, relax. Inhale, stabilize. Exhale, open left. Inhale up, change hands. You can grab behind the ankle. Drop your left hand to the T. Bring the left foot over to the right. That's not happening with that. Nope. <laughs> nice. Inhale back through center. Release the foot, bend the knee. Bring the heel up to the sit bone. Good. Now slide the right heel to meet your left, your right sit bone. Drop your hands just outside the hip. Spread the toes wide. Lift them up. Place them down. Don't grip. Tuck your tailbone under. And just tuck your tail, but don't lift your hips. Upper back is flat. Push the sacrum into the mat. Lift your belly. Tuck your tail, but don't lift your hips. Exhale, mush the sacrum. Lift the belly. Tuck it under. Good. And exhale, turn it. So you're doing cat and cow, just a supine variety. This time you tuck the tail, you engage the quads, you lift the hips. Satibanda Asharabandasana. And you bend your back. Oh, your butt's falling, so spread your toes wider. Engage your quads, release your ass a little bit. Fill your chin with chest. Lift your hips higher and reset the pubic symphysis, the pelvis. Good. Allow the body to bring symmetry back to itself. Now slowly articulate one vertebra at a time. Each and every vertebral body touches down one at a time. Unfurl the sacrum, it plops down into that mat. When it does, oh yeah. My friend's yard comes up and gives you a hug, and then you bring your knees into your chest for another. Come on back through center, drop the heels. Heel toe them together. Let your knees play to the side. Your left hand to the belly, your right hand to the heart. Just relax. Turn your attention, Instagram folks. Hang on, we'll get the tune right back in. As you guys relax in your Supta Baddha Konasana, left hand on the belly, right hand on the heart, eyes closed. Soles of the feet together, knees out wide. Relax the skin between your eyebrows. Breathe peace. We do some three-part pranayama here as we breathe in. So inhale, then exhale. Now, we're gonna breathe in with a cadence and impetus. So as a cyclist, you know this. It's the same cadence you have with your feet, but we're gonna move like this. We're gonna breathe in, one, keep breathing in, two, keep breathing in, three, hold. Then we're gonna exhale, three, two, one. So we're gonna inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Then we're gonna exhale the chest first, the ribs, and then the belly. Here we go. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale your belly, swell it. Inhale your ribs, swell it. Inhale your chest, lift, hold. Exhale, just your chest. Let the, re the ribs weave and slowly empty the belly. The navel will come closer to the spine. Inhale, belly, ribs, 
chest, hold, exhale, chest, ribs, belly, awareness to the bottom of the breath. So do this with your own impetus, your own cadence, and with your breath, follow these ocean swells of respiration through your body. Staling your consciousness, affecting the endocrine system and affecting the sympathetic nervous systems, dropping your diastolic blood pressure. Follow your breath, just relax. You're in the most beautiful place on earth with absolutely the most beautiful temperature around you. It's just the right amount of barometric pressure to fill your lungs. Ride that respiratory wave, man. And allow your mind and heart to become a little closer. No more ego now. Your ego got you here. But now you're listening to the guru from within. The teacher that is you. Learn from yourself right now. Breathe in peace. Breathe out more peace. Another one of these little spiritual tools in our metaphysical tool belt. Another asset to deal with the inevitable. The ability to control your breath. And the byproduct of breath control is everything good. So slowly, 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 as you finish this next cycle, bring the knees together. Then bring them into your chest. Give yourself one last little squeeze. Send the legs towards the sky. Grab the base of the hamstring behind the knee. Roll along your spine two or three times till you come to sit. And we will explore our next back bend. So, friends, we have options. You can take another bridge, which you just did, or you can go a little further. The next one, as we go through, is Urdhva Dhanurasana, Shikrasana, and or wheel. You're going to bring the heels into the sit bones, hip distal part parallel. You're going to bring the hands back, fingers face the scapula. You're going to generate the energy through the center line, tucking the tailbone, lifting your heart. Find your way and have fun. Yes, young Brooke, you stay up there. Yes, there you go. Look at you, Eastern Shore badass. Well done. <laughs> Come on, we ain't sure what you've been doing no, for the last month. Do, I still can't get my kick. I still can't get, get up on my hands. And I'm, you got it. Good. Send your hearts high. Find any variation of your back bend that makes you happy. Reset your body. <laughs> yes, we're going. Get those hands out wider. Good, Michael. There you go. Bring the elbows now closer. Now push that shit, Michael McCohen. Yes, baby. Tuck your tail. Push. That a boy. Damn, he's so close. Well done. No ego, Wayne Browning. Yes. <laughs> Good. Come on out. Give yourself a squeeze. Lily, how's that hip? Come on up. Roll along your spine till you can come to sit. Then our last back bend we could do, a restorative back bend, if you have something to place under the sacrum, the fused end of the spine. If you'd like to practice another bridge, maybe you interlace the fingers. If you'd like to practice a back bend that's not from your belly or back, you could do one from your knees like Ustrasana. Sorry about that, Matt, look at that. Oh my God, you're gonna get a tetanus shot after being in that puddle. This is Ustrasana. Send the hips forward, keep sending the action forward and send the thighs inward. The knees are going to splay out to the sides. You have to externally rotate these shoulders to create space across the front. Because the back bend is nothing more than a heart opener. Then you relax the head, neck, shoulders, the throat, the unhinged. Look at that. Good gravy. What do I need to text you an invitation? Bend your back. <laughs> Good job. That was beautiful as always. And then you'll take the appropriate counter pose for that. That will be Velocity Child's pose. How do you do it? Yes. You can tuck your toes for less of a stretch. Good, bro. Good, good, good. Now, bro, send the lobes of your pelvis towards my voice. Send those hips towards me, damn it. Well, you're lucky we're at social distancing right now. We'll be wrestling. Send them forward. Relax, relax. Rotate the shoulders wide. Open, open the heart. Send the shoulders back. Yes. Relax your head, neck, and throat. Perfect. Nice. There you go, Wayne. Send them hips this way, son. Perfect, Tommy Hart. Well done, Banach. Everybody. Michael McCohen, I'm getting them. Here they come, buddy. Relax now. Just take it. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Relax. Come on. Good. You ready? Come on, baby. You okay? Oh, 
like a kiddie pool. All right, all we got to do is invert. That's it. We have to do a few more things when class is over. I don't know how many yoga classes we take, but we do back bends, inversions, the meaning of life, and then we levitate. We'll levitate for 90 seconds, and if we don't tell anybody, we're good. First inversion, take a splash, Shit's gnarly, eh? Oh, my God. Third row. <laughs> How's that? Uh. <laughs> now, that's love right there. All you're doing is change lymphatic flow of your body. Your body has no lymph. Don't, don't do it yet. You got options. Look at right away. You've ordered the first thing on the menu. That's the best. This is only a restorative. That's the go-to right there. Now, the next one it is a go-to. The next option you have is lumbar sharp and gossip shoulder stand. And what you're trying to do is always keep the hips higher than the heart so we change oh, the flow of the fat. I do that with every day. Yeah. yeah. And all you want to do is walk the hands down the spine, bring your elbows as close as you can, but don't look to the sides. So don't look what she's doing. He doesn't look at you. You have to keep the drift to the third eye, the nose, or to the feet. Or else you jack your neck. When you come out, Matsyas and a fish. I can't get my elbows in. This is the counter pose. And then, if you'd like to practice another inversion, you can practice Pinchamayarasana or Vrikshasana. You can practice Dande Vedadasana or Shirsasana. Yes, this. You got to do this. You got to do a headstand now. This is the test. This is attachment. You're attached to pleasure, Jenny. Now you're not. <laughs> Place the crown of the head down, center through the center, the radius of the forearm, no further than the distance of your shoulders. Create this triangle. Crown of the head comes down, tuck your toes, lift your knees, walk them in. And find your shoe sauce. Yeah, you guys in the shade, I'm up here cooking. Everybody's out there having a, uh, uh, what is it, a white claw. Oh, this Daddy's up here working hard. <laughs> Look at them back there. They even sat down to get out of the sun. This is your sasana. It's a headstand. There's no tons of pressure. There's not a ton of pressure on the crown of the head. There's no cervical compression. It's a stabilization of the shoulder girdle. You push down through the center or the radius of the forearms. There's very little pressure on the head. But the pressure on the top of the head, this part, the crown of the head, in moderation, is very stimulating. It's, it's a big deal. So come on out the way you came in, but just as slow. Take the last of the child's pose. You're not going to do that right there, she said. <laughs> it it. smells. It does. <laughs> and then if you want to get on your chin, we'll get on our chin. Dande <laughs> Bedondasa is chin stand. That comes from down dog. You shorten your down dog. You come forward, hug. Turn. Yeah, I can do this <laughs> Easy, bro. She just rolled up. I'm going uphill. You went up, head over. Hands to the low back, bro. Good. Now walk them down the spine. Bring your elbows closer. Now push those heels towards the sky. Good. Good. Nice. If I'm home, I'll do it. I'll just put it on my wall. That's nice. Oof. Good. Nice. <laughs> yes, Tommy. Too much on the front of the head, Tommy. Hart, come out. This is me. Sorry, baby. I don't mean to yell at you, but look, you're right here, baby. Uh, Too much. You gotta come here. Yeah, I can tell by your chin. Mike, be careful on the downhill. Well, now your head scan is getting spectacular. Great teacher. Yes, elbows an inch closer. Yo, four, Tommy. Four, crap. Oh, the other crap. There you go. Yeah. Now walk the toes in. Uh, Four. Keep walking. Walk them till you can't do it anymore. Keep walking, and what's going to happen? They're going to leave the ground. Oh, shit. Now you're using low core, badass. Oh, daddy just had you. Good job. <laughs> well Good job. That was badass right there. That's awesome. That's it. Daddy had another son. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Nice job. Holy shit. <laughs> Alrighty. Everybody make their way to relax. Do the appropriate counter pose. 
So do fish right there, Brooke. Kind of the head down, lift your heart. The rest of you, Tommy, you have child pose. And then you're going to make your way to your backs. Now, see, if you're not familiar with yoga, I need you all to come lay on my mat right now for sure. <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't want to go anywhere near this thing right now. All righty. Make your way to relax. Shavasana is progressive relaxation. It's an 8 to 10 minute posture where you just lay in my friend's yard and love it. But you have to do it right. And if you are uh, at all, at all under contraction, you're doing it wrong. So lay back. Fall into the arms of a friend, man, like you trust fall into the arms of a friend. That yoga mat, or that Home Depot rug, or that thing, that, that blue thing there with the starfish, is the safety net, man. You have to jump. Boom, it catches you. And when it does, relax, because you're okay. And when you are, take contraction out of your whole body. Let your feet just play with it. Good, soften the skin on your face. And now take an entire inventory of the body, top to bottom, scan the body to make sure you have no contraction left. Release any last little fidget, any last contraction, crack, fart, wiggle, whatever you gotta do. Then relax your breath. <clears throat> Allow the breath to come in and out as shallow as it needs to to sustain. Then relax the head, neck, shoulders, and face. Good. This is Shavasana, the counter pose to our whole dang practice. Breathe out fear. Breathe in peace. And exhale judgment. Breathe in peace. And revisit your intention. Breathe in light. And revisit the people that you love. Breathe in love. Think about how much more you are than what you see. So it's so much easier to think about the people in our lives we love. So much so, you, you gotta be helped with just a little nudge, a little spiritual nudge from your old pal Pickles to remind yourself to love yourself. You think you love the people you love now. Where do you love yourself more? When you're okay with yourself, holy shit, what extends is ridiculous, it's pure, it's divine. It's honest, it's true. Breathe in love and light. Let your heart smile. Let your heart sing. Breathe in love and light. Let your soul shine. My friend Mr. Warren would say, damn sure better than rain. Now close your eyes and open your heart. Keep your eyes closed. Open your ears. My friend can take you out for a little walk. Get him, baby.
Laughter came from every brick. Just these two words you spoke changed my life. Enjoy me. <clears throat> what a burden I thought I was to carry. Crucifix, yes. did he? Love once said to me, I know a song. Would you like to hear it? And laughter came from every brick in the street, from every pore in the sky. After a night of prayer, he changed my life when he sang. found the source. When your soul was born, it was like a still ocean that had yet to experience its infinite life. God then came to the shores of our souls and gazed upon the immaculate splendor that his divine heart created. He then took off his clothes and dove into us. Nothing on their own have your arms ever done. The movements of your feet are caused by the waves it stirred. Light baptizes life wherever it falls, in every religion, and all upon this earth is a shadow. A shadow may move, but it has no real power of its own. Though it can affect the weak and frighten them, and men can use that darkness to exploit others. As I found the source of all we do, as I found the source of all our desire, so humble God became, he admitted, yeah, from a distance all want to enter his house once near watch out for the guard dog both four legged and two some of them are crazy as hell babies take a conscious breath that's all you got to do Take an honest breath with awareness. Nudge yourself spiritually back to your mat. Then soulfully take tiny movements to your fingers and toes. Tiny movements just nudges of physical awareness. Back to my friend's yard, your mat, yourself. And then roll your head from side to side, slow low like you were a thousand pounds. <clears throat> As your head rolls through center, roll onto one side or another. Whatever side you embrace is your choice. <laughs> right. So for my new friends, a little Sanskrit for you, one of the sutras one of the 195 to 198 aphorisms known as Patanjali's Yoga Sutras. It's just a little guidebook for not being a jerk. But one of them, in the very, very beginning, one, two, is Yoga Chitta Vrita Narodaha. Yoga is not just about your hamstrings, your flexibility. Everybody in this culture in the world, everybody, right away, yoga, flexibility. It's not even the scratch on the surface. So Yoga Chitta Vrita Narodaha means that this is nothing more. Yoga is nothing more than the cessations of the fluctuations of a busy, squirrely mind. So we use the asana practice, the dance we just did, to get all sweaty. Enough so that we can be still. And then when our bodies are still, our minds can be still. And when our minds can be still, we can turn within. And when you turn within, you inevitably bump into yourself. And when you bump into yourself, boom. Tussle, you rustle, you do what you got to do, but without a doubt and undeniably, the undisputed champion of this, the heavyweight spiritual champion of that encounter is always the very best version of yourself. So self-awareness, kids, will keep you often from saying something silly. Not silly, but mean or, or out of place. Something that would, would be a stone rather than a kiss, you know? So very, very slowly bring the very best versions of yourself up to a seat. My new friends, I like to babble for a second at this part because yoga has uh, has given to me everything, you know. And uh, 
second to my family, my children. Uh, it's the biggest thing in my life, and you are attached to that. You are literally part of that, and um, it's a big, big, big deal to me. So yoga keeps teaching me more and more every day, and I've been all week long, and she's heard she's been there, and he's been there, and they've been there, and a couple of and he's been here. All week long, it seemed, or last two weeks, it seems like my yoga teaching practice is taking another boom, it's taking another step. It's not saying I'm a better yoga teacher, it's just I'm learning more from y'all. I'm becoming a better yoga teacher by being your student over and over again, and it's awesome. I love it, I love it, I love it. If you notice, I'm starting to creep and I, I gotta watch myself and until they tell us whatever, but uh, man, oh man, oh man, when I put my hands on you to push you into that down dog, I'm not pushing you into the down dog, I'm just taking you to the expression of, the ex full expression of your body. And when I do it, man, I learn, and it's wild. And when I sit on your ass and it seems like a joke or whatever, but when your hips release and you sit and you externally rotate your thing, I'm being silly because somebody's looking and I'm an idiot by nature, but I'm learning. And over and over and over again, uh, I'm a tactile yoga teacher. I like to put my hands on you. I'm Italian, and I, I like to wrestle you and, and uh, the whole bit. But um, this practice has gotten so all I can think about now, other than uh, there's a couple things on the list, but all I can think about when I get here is uh, I just want to see you all do everything better than me. <laughs> and I know that sounds ridiculous, but I know, I know for a fact that I could be the best teacher I could be what all you far surpass me in this practice. When you're all bad asses as it gets, man, and I'm just this fat tomato salesman, man, I've done my job. And that's why I was teasing when you just said whatever. I was like, who taught you that? Who's your yoga teacher? Because your shit is blooming. It's perfect. It's beautiful. You look like a flower that came out of the ground. You are so completely perfect. And, and when there's the harmony in the posture, when there's the peace in the posture, and when there's comfort in the posture, you find this undeniable joy that's unbelievable. And shit, man, I didn't give it to you, but I showed you how to get there. And that just makes me feel unreal because I am no more than what I give you. And I am so interdependent on how happy you are. I am so crazily interwoven with my community, my yoga community, and my sandbar community. Not necessarily everybody at the moment because there's a lot of us here now, but um, it's a big deal to me to, uh, to watch you be the very best you can be. And that just makes me better and better too. And then this kindness just begets more kindness and the coolness begets more coolness and the love begets more love and the shit just can't, it can't be anything but, you know? And then when this practice is nothing but love, then shit, we go home and everybody else should just thank us for going to yoga. Someone should sponsor us and scholarship us to go to yoga because uh, we take out of here the light that is you. And then the rooms that you go into now will be brighter. And everybody around you will be happy to see you. And the next words out of your mouth will be kinder. And uh, that's it. So when you hang on to somebody tonight at a social distance, or someone you know, or someone in your family, hang on to them for an extra squeeze. And if someone looks like they're if you're having a shitty day, give them four extra words, some kind words. And, stop and be present if they want to bitch for a minute because I'm going to go home now and I was leaving I was telling my kids my mom was uh, was we were just starting to bicker over like Chinese food <laughs> like what we're going to order on Chinese food you know and I was like uh, when I come back here I will sit and listen to how whatever she wants to talk about Chinese food but before I got here I couldn't you know I was just an environmental ball that bleh. but this practice brings me back to my, my real self and that's love so I thank the world of each and every one of you, even the ones I just met for you today. Nice to meet you, my friends from the eastern shore of Maryland. Welcome aboard, my new kind of Virginia, residence. not eastern shore of Maryland. <laughs> Welcome my online Browning family being on. <laughs> thank you all so much for being with me today. The light music, the light you is absolutely golden. That's the Bohemian Song Society. This is my friend's beautiful yard. Namaste. Namaste. Peace and light, y'all. Peace and light. Have a wonderful day. Yay! As always, thank you, Scott. Now, Jenny, carry all my wet clothes back to the car, please. You will not do that. <laughs> I think that's the <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> thank you. It was fun. Did you have fun, kids? Thank you. It was nice meeting you. I've never done yoga, but no, I should. <laughs> you still haven't. I don't even know what I'm doing. It's my first class. <laughs> Oh, yeah, for your first class. Yeah. Yeah, I was really nervous. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh,